Business Brain, the show for entrepreneurs, episode 421 for Friday, February 3rd, 2023. Greetings, folks, and welcome back to, welcome to the Business Brain show where we are always finding different ways of using our business brains in all aspects of our life. Here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. And in Lafayette, California, I am Shannon Jean. Still the same person, still at the same spot. Happy to be here talking about business brain. And uh, I think when I'm, while you're listening to these words, I'll be up in Tahoe. Oh, nice. Enjoying the snow, which is going to be great. Good for you. We had, uh, well, I was in Good. Italy, man. We had snowmageddon here. Is that right? Oh, dude. I think we had three Love snowstorms. It. They weren't significant amounts of snow, but- they were, it was heavy. Like it was just on that like freezing line. So trees came down everywhere. A pole wow. around the corner from my house came down an entire telephone pole. We've got a tree down oh. in the yard. Thankfully it didn't hit yeah. anything. The power was out for uh, almost Good two, time to be gone. Two days. Yeah. 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 We had, yeah. we had put in a standby generator that, that like automatically turns on well, uh, this past summer, and I figured we'd go 10 years without ever needing it. That was like, you know, that we, we, we yeah, told yeah. the neighbors, we're like, you're welcome. We spent the money. So uh -huh. the power is never going to go out again. Yes. And it was, yeah, it was crazy, man. But, um, yeah, we missed it. We got to come back and we shoveled a little and that was it. That, well, and I got to deal with this tree that's down in my yard, which sucks because we had a tree come down in exactly the same spot and we had it removed two days before we left. So, oh, Yep. So I get to pay the guy to come back again. Get so him back out. That's yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. But whatever. We, um, yeah. you, you know, speaking of, of my travels, I talked before I went about using, bringing that, that, uh, extra monitor with me and really oh, yeah. being intentional about my work. How'd uh, that go? Dude, I, it, my life has reset in terms of my flexibility to travel now. I, that's great. I, you know, I mean, you could probably hear it when we did the show. I was really stressed about, like it was a bad time for me to not be yeah, working, yeah. you know, just for, with everything. And, uh, so I, I just knew I'm like, okay, we're going to get there. And the first day that we're, you know, we're, once we're there, I'm going to get up and work two hours and like get my workspace set up. I came up with like a punch list that I went through every day and, uh, I worked, I didn't work every single day. But at least every other day I would work. I mean, I would, I would sort of check in, but it was more than just a quick little triage, my email and punt kind of thing. There was That's one great. day I did that, but most days I spent about two hours in the morning going through stuff before everybody else got up and I love it. dude, it, 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 now I'm like, okay, we're going to Mexico in three weeks. It's like, yeah, whatever. Like we're nice. good. That, I'm, that, I'm, that kind of freedom uh, system. Yeah. And well, that, and that system allows me to enjoy my vacation and my trip uh more a hundred because i know yeah you've done your thing in the morning got to okay great I, there's no nagging things what what's happening what's, what's happening on? what uh, have i punted yeah. there was one day uh we were there from we flew out on a wednesday so arrived on a thursday uh because of the red eye flights and all that we and, and then we flew back on the following saturday so we were there like nine days ten days that friday before we flew back that morning i i punted on a few things that I knew could wait until Monday or Tuesday when I got back into the office. Right. Like it was, it was yeah. not a problem, but it was the, I wasn't letting myself do that at all until that day when it was like, okay, well today I'm going to do this. But that kind of thing I also do when I'm here, you know, in the office. So it's like, well, today I'm not going to do this. I know it can wait, you know, it could wait three days. So if I do it in two, I'm still ahead of schedule. Like it's going to be fine. So I let myself do that on the very, basically the very, you know, last full day that we had there. Uh, but other than that, I, I punted nothing and it was, it was, That's awesome. it was freeing. I don't want to say it gave me freedom. It gave me flexibility. No, no, no. Yes. Uh, we've talked about that many times. Right. Right. <laughs> but, sure. um, but it, 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 my, I am now reset. I think it was the, uh, you know, the, the lack of traveling with COVID sort of made me more dependent on my office. Mm. Uh, because I wasn't traveling every few months and having to just sort of do this as a matter of course, I've certainly traveled since, the, since the COVID lockdowns, you know, began two years ago, Yeah. but every time it's been like, well, I'm just going to kind of let work 
you know, percolate a little bit and, and I can't keep doing that. So it was, it was, this was great. It, that reset was fantastic. So nice. I, I just wanted to follow up on that. So yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's yep. good. Very good. Well, I'm, uh, you know, I'm a huge map guy, you know, Google maps and yeah. managing, managing your business in, in the maps, uh, sphere, whether you use Bing, Google maps, Apple maps, that's a big deal, getting people to find you, coming up in search and all that stuff. And and one thing I saw that I, I sent you a link over is the uh, Apple rolled out a new program or uh, system they're using called Apple Business Connect. And I'd love to uh, take a deeper dive into that today. Absolutely. That. Yeah, man. Yeah, this is a cool. I had missed this. It, it must have come out like, I don't know, while I was probably freaking out about traveling and trying to figure <laughs> everything right. out. Yeah. But um this is a cool thing, this tool that, and it's for all businesses. You don't have to be a certain yeah. minimum size or anything. You get to go in and like list your business and manage your business's profile, not just for Apple maps, but for right. messages, right. wallet, Siri. I don't know if you've ever used messages for customer support with uh, mm. a dude. Nice. It, it works so well. I like oh, I can't I, it, it's it's my favorite way of getting support. I think Delta Airlines uses it. Seagate, okay. the hard drive people uh, use it uh, for their support. And I'm sure other companies do, too. But it's just well, it's like, I mean, you're texting with people, so it's super easy. You don't have to, like, leave a Web page open and worry about your phone going to sleep and losing the track of, yeah, the, yeah, you, know, yeah. you know, all that crap that happens. No, it like. This is fantastic. I'm I'm really stoked about this. I I'm I'm gonna look into seeing how like how it makes sense to register like as a podcast for this kind yeah. of stuff. Like obviously we I don't have so. a physical address, but yeah, yeah, it's really cool. And I think that uh, we'll we'll put a, sh a link in the show notes about it. And you know you can upload images. It ties into customer reviews. You you know you list your website. People can also book appointments via the these the apps or the Maps app. And uh, I, I think it's yeah, it's a huge thing. You need to be uh, listed on across all these services, whether it's Google, Bing, uh, you know, and Apple. It it really adds a lot to your credibility, um, even if you're small and. Uh, even just a solopreneur, it's really, I think, something you need to spend some time getting uh, getting up there. Get some increased visibility on that, uh, on, on your business, and just get found, right? Just get, like, yeah. Make sure you're listed everywhere you can be. I mean, think of this as another search engine, right? Yep. Like, you you want to make sure that you're, you're and, and I mean, that's a whole, maybe perhaps that's a whole other episode to talk about is making sure you are, that you have your own, profile and account that you can manage your search presence uh yeah not just on google you know google is everywhere the most important <laughs> yeah. one for for obvious reasons but you know uh bing is well, bing's number yeah, two it, yeah yeah and you want to control it you know there's so yes. if you go up and search you you may already be you probably are already listed and you'll see if if you haven't claimed it. You typically will find a link that says claim this business, whether yeah. you're searching in Apple maps, Google maps, whatever it is. It's really important because we, I talk about story all the time. You want to craft your own business story, right? You, and not let someone else do it and uh, leave a certain review or whatever. You want people to see the images you want to show them when they first find you yep. the details about your business, what your hours are, how to get to you. Um, and each of these entities has a tool to allow you to go do that. And, um, uh, well, I can remember when we did our Google, uh, they used to call it Google, my business, but, uh, one of the things that yeah, was so first now the Google business profile, but it's this same kind it. of thing same, same for thing. Google. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. And it also, one of the things they have to do is call you at your business number. So, if you had a PBX, uh, you know, multi-line, you know, auto attendant type system, it was kind of tough to get that phone call. And so I could remember, okay, I'm going to shut the system down, plug one phone in, or <laughs> turn off the auto attendant. When the phone rings, I'm going to pick it up so I can answer the question, enter the code, and then I can turn everything back on. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's 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 good, you know. And, and if you have a bunch of locations like this Business Connect, they give you... They have an API, so you can get 
oh, updated really? information about all your listings. Uh, in, they they can connect to these listing management agencies. Uh, there's this uh, rep, one called Reputation, oh. uh, Rio SEO, Uberall, Yext, all these different companies that help you do this, uh, manage these multiple look. Uh, locations and services so you can automate it not have to go up there and manually do it if you've got you know a bunch of different places to go oh man i i, I feel like these are companies that with some of my businesses i'm going to need to pay a fee to to uh make sure that i can control my listing with them but yeah 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 it's good and and you, i think it, the it really levels the playing field. So uh, you can True. get connect. Yeah you, yeah. you can have your listing up there and you can set up the tap to pay on iPhone. So you can have people pay you directly oh, uh, and yeah. not have to worry about, I mean, you don't even have to take Apple pay or whatever that, cause now you can do that direct to iPhone. Right. Right. Uh, you know, all, just a ton of stuff that you can set up through this um, Apple Business Connect, it's really, really important. Um, they talk about 24-7 support, all this kind of stuff like you're seeing in, with uh, with messages. Yeah. I think it's I think it's killer. Um, I would love to hear how other folks are using maps and some, you know, pros and cons, pitfalls, things to look out for. Um, you know, let us know. Feedback at businessbrain.show is the place to send those questions. And remember, if we feature your question in an episode and by feature we mean include it in an episode and it doesn't have to be a question it can be a comment could be yeah. uh, a little tip a little you a know critique. hey you guys got something wrong let <laughs> yes, me help yes, you yes. correct this website that's all it yeah. takes that enters you into the drawing for a MacBook Air this year so you know hey thanks for hanging out Good with stuff. us folks thanks for uh, thanks for listening Thanks for uh, thanks for everything. Keep living that charmed life, huh? We'll see you next week. Happy Friday.